What's going on guys? My name is Max. I'm a communication skills coach. I react to people's conversations, interviews, and presentations. And today we are reacting to One Direction as a group. If you're new here, I've been reacting to all the One Direction members individually. I think the common characteristic that I've seen from all of them is they seem really humble and genuine. It seems like they really sort of remain true to who they are, despite how big they are. Here we go, One Direction, This Is Us, Harry, Zane, Liam, Louie, and Niall. I sat at the time and I said, I said some things that I was a bit worried about the other boys you, even seeing. So it was like- Like, like what? I'm, you can be honest, you got, wanna uh, whisper? I don't know, it was just like about personal, like relationshipy type stuff. Um, relationship and I, was, I actually got, well, some of it didn't make the film. There's a lot of differences I'm noticing right off the bat. Looking at Liam, he certainly doesn't look as confident as he did when I analyzed him in the last interview. Yeah, he just doesn't look as sure of himself. He looks a little more serious. He doesn't look as light and playful and comfortable in his own skin as he did in the recent interview that I checked out. Look at Zayn, just head down. Look at the body language there, head down in the corner. Zayn was the last guy I reacted to when I mentioned, you know, he seemed like a real introvert and that's not a bad thing. He just seemed like a guy who enjoyed listening more than he liked speaking and the way he's carrying himself, almost like he doesn't want to have to speak. I'm down to that because I was just a bit embarrassed to, to share it with everyone. Look how interested Harry looks in Liam. Harry is such a present guy. That's what I noticed from analyzing some of Harry's interviews. You can see he's completely engaged. He completely turned around. His body shifted. You can look at his eye contact. I feel like Harry's the type of guy, if you met him in person, he'd be right there with you. Because it's all good stuff. What's not to love? We're on tour. It's five lads, laddie lads, having a laugh. Lads doing yeah. lads things that lads, lads, lads do, because lads, lads are yeah. cool. Oh, Liam, what is there not to love? We're just having a, having a bar. Having you, know, a lads. you know what? It really seems to me like Harry is the leader in the group. Just the way he's carrying himself and the way people are sort of deferring to him. It seems like he's the star. He's the leader. He's got his open body language. Niall, interesting enough as well, he seems shy. Um, I haven't heard him say anything. He hasn't been really expressive in his face. Niall seemed like a, another one of those guys who was super comfortable in his own skin and super confident and just a, a simple guy in a way that he's just who he is. He's relatable, just a normal guy. But here he seems quite shy and reserved. Like, that's why we know that we're actually, you know, genuine friends because when we're not having to work together, when we are at home in our free time, we still, you know, make time for each other and still want to spend time with each other, so it's, it's cool. Man, they all seem super comfortable with each other here. It seems like a real genuine dynamic. Zayn actually seems more comfortable in this interview. He's speaking more smoothly. He seems more articulate as opposed to an interview where all the attention was on him. It seems like when the attention is sort of spread out, my impression is Zane's a lot more comfortable because all eyes aren't on him. 10, 15 years time and get to see <laughs> such a good quality, like memory almost of what, what was going on at that time for us. So it's just gonna be really cool okay. to kind of watch that and see that and take that away from it, I guess. So it's gonna be cool. That's their way of showing affection to each other by hitting each other, by pinching each other, by smacking each other. So you can tell these boys are close. Louis is definitely the goofball, right? Like Louis is the one that sort of likes to have fun. Louis actually, there was a time where he was trying to get Zane involved in the goofing, but Zane didn't really uh, commit to it. Like part of me wonders if in a weird way, Zane is sort of the, the dad of the group. In this interview, he's sort of the one that's shying away from being playful with the rest of the group. And in turn, he's the one that's sort of carrying out the interview in a more professional way. You don't really like to see what? To see what? Are they just movie friends? One Direction. Hey, she's got the memo. Okay, it's not it's so even out yet. There she is. So easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so young. That's what we say. <laughs> to me, Harry, in, at this point in their careers, seems to be the most charismatic. He's the one that I sort of gravitate to when he speaks partially because he's in the center, but partially because I think he commands people's attention by his presence, by his body language, by his expressiveness, by how present he is when he speaks. And I wonder 
if when they split up, it kind of allowed guys like Louis, Liam, Niall, maybe even Zayn to blossom and to come into their own. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To be and then to be sign it as well. Oh, okay. To be yeah. To be uh, no. <laughs> Basically, what it was was that. It's one thing, um, right? Really interesting to see their dynamic together. They really just seem like a genuine group of friends. And to see guys like Liam and Louie and Niall who are way more confident now, it seems, is also a really interesting thing to, to watch and witness. Okay, so we finished the This Is Us interview. So let's check out the Scott Mills interview. Let's see if we can get a, an even better idea of what all these guys are about together. Uh, what happened to that knackered old one from What Makes You Beautiful, do you know? No, That's know a good happened. question. We should try and get our hands on that, yeah, boys. You know, it's like, it yeah. Yeah, a bit of a keepsake. Just, can you direct these mics a bit better, Liam? You Sorry, Max, Liam. Sorry about that. So you don't know where it went? No, uh, no, uh, no that's, that's the truth of it. It looks like Louis not even caring to answer the questions. He's just sort of contributing to the group dynamic and trying to have fun and lighten the energy. So perhaps that was Louis's role in these sort of media situations, to sort of lighten up the energy, have fun, keep it playful. He seems super close with Liam. He seems like the guy that sort of takes the piss the most out of everyone, just from what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, massively. I mean, this is this is the first album we've proper, like, written on nearly every song, yeah. almost. And we were just grateful to have the same team that we used last time, and they just looked it up the game. I think level. you can tell it's... Liam, man, he seems to maybe have evolved. Him and Niall, just from first impressions here, seem to have evolved the most in terms of their confidence. Interestingly enough, Harry hasn't said anything here. But to me, he still commands the presence in the room. He still kind of commands the space. When he wants to speak, people will listen. Um, we've, yeah. got, we've already gone there. Well, okay. Well, I like um, the next single. Yeah. Look at everyone listening intently to Harry. Look at the body language. Everyone's listening intently to Harry. Notice how he doesn't need to project his voice. He's present. He's comfortable within himself. When it's his turn to speak, he sets the tone. I mentioned this in my other breakdown of Harry. He doesn't feel the need to speak quickly. He speaks slowly. He speaks controlled. Doesn't need to fill up the space with words just for the sake of it. I think, I, yeah, sorry. I think one of the cool things about this one is that like, each song might have been recorded in like three different places. So that's, oh, that's quite good. That's really good. Yeah, it's really, yeah. Everyone it's at that point. I really do think they all look up to Harry at this point in their career at least. That's what it seems like. They all look up to him. I said this in the last interview, it's clear that he's, he's the leader. Even Zayn now is smiling. He's listening to Harry, he's, he's smiling, he's engaged. So I feel like Zayn has a, has a respect for Harry, has a real respect for Harry and an admiration for him too. Yeah, we had a bit of a situation, oh, Harry's holding the We had a bit of a situation. We were in Charlotte, North Carolina about four weeks ago and there was like loads of people outside the hotel and there was kind of no way of getting out. So me and Liam just like end up yeah. going crazy. Niall didn't watch the golf until like six o'clock in the morning. You need to do the mic. Oh. And Niall's such a normal guy, such a just like an everyday guy that I can relate to. I said this in my last video. He's just a little more reserved, a little shyer, but still the same simple sort of guy who you can really relate to. Oh, so Harry was coming out, to be fair. Uh, Niall was um, Niall was watching golf till like <laughs> five o'clock in the morning, which Zane's sort of just enjoying their dynamic on the outside. He's not really like fully engaged in the dynamic. He's not really engaged in the banter. He's just kind of hanging out like he's watching a show. He's like, I don't need to be a part of it. I don't want the attention on me, but like, let me just hang out here in my corner and watch you guys do your thing. And I think that's okay. So it would be cool to see Zayn uh, perform because he certainly is making it clear that he doesn't like the spotlight. He doesn't like the attention on himself. You know, sometimes someone just writes you a nice little polite mm. tweet. Uh -huh. yeah, but then, like, but you know you what? Yeah. yeah, I will. Yeah, actually. But then, look at the eye contact that Harry makes with the interviewer and he makes with everyone else. I've mentioned this before, and I say this when I teach people presentation skills. When you look directly at your audience, you're giving them a reason to look back. So that's a part of being an engaging speaker, an engaging communicator, is eye contact. Now, if you don't look at someone when you speak, it gives them an excuse to look away from you. So don't give them that excuse. You know, that's something we can learn from Harry. Anyway, yeah, can I have a uh, vanilla latte with a shot of that caramel creamer? <laughs> right? And then, like, sent this runner off to get his coffee and then turned around. And I stood right behind him, like, 
That was a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Man, they all really listen to Harry. You know, even Louis. Louis wasn't cracking a joke. He was listening. And then maybe you were sick on the freeway in LA or something. And then somebody maybe picked it up. I've been on a, oh, I've been on a hike. What would, what would, what I've would been on a be very long would, hike. Yeah, what was their actual technique for picking it up? I don't, I don't know how. Maybe they scooped it up. Maybe like a poop scooper. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> like a chain. Genuine, humble, down to earth, normal guys who just like to joke around and have fun. Very comfortable together. Very interesting to see Zane sort of on the outside looking in appreciating them. At first I thought maybe he just didn't feel like he was a part of the group, but I think he does in his own way. Have any of you ever got a girlfriend just for the winter? I just thought I'd point it Not on mouth. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Has that ever happened to any of you? Zane, sorry. Who's written that question? Is that one of yours, Scott? Or... Might be. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Louis's great. Louis's great. I think Louis actually might be my favorite. I like all the boys, but I think Louis might be my favorite. He's just fun. His way of showing affection is making fun of people. He doesn't do it in a nasty way. If he likes you and he wants to show you that he likes you and he cares about you, he kind of pokes fun at you. That's something I really like about Louis. And looking at the guys now and looking how they're interacting with this interviewer, I'm really starting to appreciate Louis even more. Uh, the security thing is security questions. And there's only like four and it's like your mother's maiden name. So people can just like Google what people's mother's, mother's yeah, exactly. maiden names are. Scott, look at this. Zane's not changed. See, Louis is the most engaged with the interviewer, Scott. He's the one that says his name the most. He's the one that's sort of bringing him in with the jokes. But Louis really is a personable guy. And he's really standing out amongst the crowd right now. It's got Snake 2 on it. It's got Snake 2. Snake two. Yeah. Have you ever seen the video of what happens when you win Snake? No. Wow. Nothing happens. Well, after all that. It like goes, well done. <laughs> okay. No way. Really cool to see their group dynamic. It's been fun. Thank you so much again for all your support. Keep letting me know who you would like me to react to, who you would like me to analyze. Hit that subscribe button. I love to see it. More content on the way. I'm Max. I'll catch you soon. Peace.